Hi, it's Troy from Equality Utah, and it's week four of the Utah legislative session, and we are officially halfway through, and it is showtime. HB 302 will have its first public hearing this Thursday at 8 a.m. at the House Education Committee, and they're going to try really hard to push this through quickly. So let's take a look at this bill. Uh, HB 302 is a bill that would prohibit any transgender athlete from participating in sports, specifically girls. Um, the argument that you are seeing from Eagle Forum and Senator Mike Lee is that transgender girls have an unfair advantage over cisgender girls, and by allowing transgender girls to participate, that will potentially bring an end to women's sports as we know it. Isn't it great now that there's all these men who are suddenly out of the blue so invested in protecting women's sports? Thanks, guys. Now, admittedly, I don't know a lot about sports. Um, I was friends with Steve Young for two years before I knew he was actually famous, like famous, famous. So <laughs> I had no idea. It was kind of embarrassing. Um, I can tell you who competed in every season of Snatch Game on RuPaul's Drag Race, but I can't tell you the difference between a linebacker or a tight end. I have no clue. So I thought there are people who do. So I called the NCAA this week and I asked, how many athletes um, do you all have? And they told me that every year they have about 500,000. That's a lot. And I, I ask, well, how long have you had an inclusive uh, transgender policy? 10 years, they told me. And then my next ask, how many transgender girls have actually won championships? And they told me that in 2019, a trans woman named Cece Telfer in Division II came first in the 400-meter hurdles and then ranked sixth in the 100-meter hurdles. And no, she didn't break any records either. I thought, okay, well, who else? And they said, that's it, Cece Telfer. And I'm all like, what? Only one trans woman has ever won a race in the entire 10 years that trans athletes could play? Only one? But everything that I've been hearing from the Eagle Forum and the Alliance Defending Freedom, they're all saying that trans women are dominating in sports. But there's only been one winner in the NCAA. Well, obviously I wanted to know next, um, what about the Olympics? They've had a trans-inclusive policy since 2004. Surely in all that time, trans women athletes have been dominating, right? So I did a little Google search to see how many trans athletes had won medals, and after an exhaustive search, I couldn't find any. Now, I did learn about Chris Mosier, who's been a groundbreaking trans advocate in athletics. He was the first to participate in, Olymp in Olympic trials, but still hasn't qualified yet. In fact, no transgender athlete has qualified yet to compete in the entire Olympic history. Okay. So if trans women are not do dominating in either the Olympics or the NCAA, where's all this fuss coming from? So I call up the Utah High School Activities Association. They also have a policy of transgender inclusion. They were proud to tell me about their policy that welcomes all students, but then they told me they haven't actually been able to use it yet. Because in Utah, we don't have transgender athletes participating in sports. And when, the more I thought about it, the more it really made me sad. Because transgender kids often feel marginalized. And I imagine that the locker rooms, bathrooms, the field, don't necessarily feel safe for a trans child to be. Because I know as a gay kid, I didn't feel safe in those spaces. Because I knew I could be bullied, hazed, that I might be in physical danger. And that's what really makes me angry about all of this. Senator Mike Lee and Eagle Forum, Lions Defending Freedom are creating moral panic with a straw man argument. They're trying to convince lawmakers and the general public that transgender children are a threat to cisgender children. It is a sick inversion of what's really happening in our schools. And we are seeing more and more this rise in moral panic with school board members who probably also believe in Jewish space lasers freaking out 
about LGBTQ students and their, our lives. So I would encourage the Utah legislature and anyone watching, we got to slow it down. Because all of this gives me a strange sense of gay ja vu. History teaches us some important lessons here. In 1996, Eagle Forum, again, created a moral panic, and the legislature banned gay-straight alliances, and for a while banned all extracurricular clubs. In 1997, again, Eagle Forum whipped up the legislature into a moral panic, and they banned public school teachers and students from talking about gay issues in the classroom. We call that no promo homo. In 2003, another moral panic gripped the Capitol. And even though gay marriage was already illegal, the legislature passed Amendment 3, which banned all forms of gay relationship recognition. It was all reactionary legislative overreach. Well, you know how all those bans turned out? Today in 2021, gay straight alliances meet all over the state. No promo homo, we overturned in 2017. And Utah overturned Amendment 3, becoming the first state to overturn a gay marriage ban, ultimately leading to marriage equality in all 50 states. So, lawmakers, banning transgender children from having access to medical care and sports teams may not turn out the way you think. Last year, Idaho passed a transgender sports ban. It was struck down in federal court as unconstitutional because it violated the Equal Protection Clause of the U.S. Constitution. In the ruling, the judge found no evidence that allowing transgender athletes altered the fairness or the integrity of women's sports. And who was this liberal activist judge? His name is Chief Judge David Nye, and he was educated at Brigham Young University. And he was appointed to the bench by former President Donald J. Trump. We need your help. Please contact your representatives. Ask them to vote no on HB 302. Uh, we want to hear your stories. Um, we want you to, to uh, reach out to the Education Committee and let them know that we've got to, to not ban children. Uh, go to equalityutah.org. Click on Take Action. We'll help you find your lawmaker. It's time for every letter in our alphabet, the L, the G, the B, and the Q, and the I, and the A, and all of our allies to stand up for the T. We're all in this together. We all move forward as one community. Thank you. Love you. Mwah.